Today, you'll learn the skills Clix uses to turn a near impossible situation into a victory royale. By the end of this video, you'll know the game altering strategies and builds you can use to dominate fight with unbeatable peaks and devastating rotations, completely changing the way you think about late game engagements. No matter your skill level, ping or platform, if you join us in learning from clicks, your play will improve. Let's jump into it. So as we saw, to start this clip, clicks is not in the best spot. However, notice that there are only 17 players left at this point. This is quite low for high level end game. And the fewer players alive, the easier it is to rotate late. We can see that Clix is able to move quite freely through the zone without ever really being shot at. With a normal end game of 30 plus players, this would very likely not have been the case. So Clix is a bit lucky here to get so much free movement only having to expend a few mats along the way. And we also want to point out the way he does cover. We can see here that there aren't any players set up on the right where the mountain is, so he does an incredibly low mat tunnel with only floor and ramp before ducking behind another player's build to save even more mats. This is just a nice example of how being aware of your surroundings can save you huge amount of mats, but also how you should master different types of tunnels for different situations. At this point, Clix has mostly caught up to the pack from his late rotation. He third parties, landing big damage before having his kill sniped, but he gets the loot, so it's still a win. Clix continues to rotate until he reaches zone, at which point he boxes up to reload and regroup. And once again, we saw Clix conserving mats by building only what he needed for cover, and this is a build sometimes referred to as a diagonal ramp tunnel, and it's a good build to know. All you're doing is building zigzagging floor with a ramp on the outside, as you can see done slowly here. Notice how he's looking down at his feet, so the ramp goes on top of him and not in front. If this is new to you, start out slow, then ramp up in speed gradually. You can see just how protected this tunnel is from behind, and it's much lower mats than a full tunnel, and much easier to execute as well. It's just not protected from the front, so make sure there's no one looking at you from the front. And here's what it should look like from the front when you're done. Anyway, jumping back into the clip, we now get to see the big face off for this clip. Clicks versus Creo, fourth place finisher at the World Cup. And the first thing we see Clix do is claim the build between them with this cone. This is just a great general principle of box fighting. Claim what you can. Next, we see Clix edit out the top right of his wall, setting up what you may have heard referred to as a peanut butter peak. We're not exactly sure why. This is a super strong, safe way to peek for shots, as we see Clix do immediately. This fully abuses right hand peak advantage by covering almost your entire body while allowing you to get off a wide range of shots. And naturally, after your shot, you'll just immediately fall back behind complete cover. This is a crazy strong strategy at lower levels of play as well as at pro level. It's especially great for new players since it doesn't require any quick edits or resets, as well as requiring your opponent to land a very difficult shot. Now, at this point, we see Clix pull off something pretty crazy. Check it out. That was super quick, so let's see it again in slow-mo. So, we see Clix, within the span of a jump, break a build, replace it, then edit it open, leading to a wide open shot. Do any of you notice anything weird about this play though? Maybe how Clix is more than a full tile away the whole time. Some of you may have tried something like this before and realized it doesn't work. So how is Clix able to edit this wall while our creative mode default can't? Well, this is actually a very specific trick that catches even an insane player like Creo off guard. And you can pull this off only by having your blueprints out, specifically having wall selected. If you have your harvester, a gun or any other build selected, this won't work.
This is a pretty insane trick that your opponent will not expect. Absolutely no one is used to having a wall edited on them from this distance. Definitely go try this out in creative. Jumping helps and character placement also matters a bit. So just make sure you've got it down before using it in a game. Anyway, at this point, Clix has landed 96 damage off his two shots, so he knows he has double Creo's health. This prompts him to move forward, break the ramp, and place a cone inside of Creo's box, giving him an incredible amount of control. Obviously, this cone will prevent Creo from covering himself and make him a sitting duck if he stays inside of the box. With a 200 to 100 HP advantage, owning the wall, and having a cone in the box, Clix has put in all the work he needs to finish the kill on Creo. Clix is lucky enough to find two more floppers in the loot, allowing him to shrug off the storm damage and get back to rotating, stopping once he reaches zone and looks for some shots onto high ground. He gets jumped on and is lucky to only take 90 damage before being broken down and finding himself low and in the storm. How would you manage this situation? Think about what would you do here if you were Clix? So, we see Clix build full cover before going mini, flopper, mini, flopper. This is the perfect order here that allows him to shield up while getting max flopper value. And healing up in the storm like this means he's not a very visible target for his opponents who are all focused on rotating and fighting the other rotating players. Not only that, but the whole time Clix is healing, he's scouting, which leads him to dropping and picking up another kill instantly. This was just a great heads up, confident play from Clix, and he's rewarded with a slew of floppers for his efforts. With enough floppers like this, Clix can easily ride the storm and secure height from outside zone, where players are rarely looking or defending against. At this point, with the mountain blocking low ground, the game is all but over, so Clix kicks back and takes a seat. To pick up this win, Clix showed off a huge range of skills, from different mat efficient tunneling methods to rotation timings enabling third party action, to dunking Creo in a box fight, and much more. He was definitely a bit lucky to find as many floppers as he did, but that's also a product of his relentless aggression, not allowing his targets any time to use them mid-fight. No matter your skill level, if you start to use things like the peanut butter pig or editing walls from over a tile away, you can definitely learn and improve from clicks. If you feel like you learned something today, be sure to like and subscribe for more educational content in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.